says Nigerians are being hateful towards Chinese at the moment. Look, Africa and China have a very contentious relationship, yeah. and I think that we're going to see a lot of like sort of backlash because of the way Africa has been exploited by China, and the promises that China has put forth as far as infrastructure and jobs and things just aren't coming to fruition. No. Also, you know, Africa just has a history of not being very satisfied. So just look at history and any mm. any kind of thing that's gone on there always kind of ends up in a in a bit of a mess. So I think we're just going to have to see what happens. Yeah, China's uh, bait and rob initiative. Yes, that's going, that's what we're calling the belt, belt and road, road the now. bait and rob, yeah. So their bait and rob initiative is really going to backfire especially yeah. when they're not able economically to deliver on these promises right now. Was it recently again the Chinese restaurant um, in Nigeria not allowing yeah, not local allowing Nigerians? Local, only Chinese only people Chinese? in their own country. I know that happened in Kenya, and I think it happened in Nigeria as well. So that probably is uh, contributing to it. I want people to understand it sounds ridiculous to you, because in your country that would probably be, that would be all over the news. It would be yeah. insane, right? It did get over the and news, it, and they had to did. shut down eventually. It did, but for Chinese people, it's not that big of a stretch of imagination that something should only be for them. You know what I, I mean? Know. You know yeah. what I found was quite quite uh quite i guess ironic was in canada um a restaurant had to apologize for putting up a sign saying no chinese allowed and the, the restaurant was a chinese restaurant run by chinese people <laughs> they're so, mainlanders too. yeah right? mainland yeah. chinese they were the ones put up the sign no chinese allowed because they're worried about the you know but did, did you see when the news because you know how in, in a lot of western news they won't actually describe the perpetrator sure so when they put that out like all these people are going apeshit rightfully so i mean sure. it's pretty annoying it's horrible yeah it's horrible yeah but then when that came out like everyone just shut up yeah then you know it was like mean? whoops <laughs> yeah anyway it's kind of funny uh ralph says ralph Okay. Thank you, Ralph. By the way, everybody, my uh, Friday video, which I've just finished editing before we did this um, live stream, is up on my Patreon if anyone would like to watch it. And it's yep. it's a very big one for me to put out. It's called, Is China the Most Racist Country in the World? And of course, it'll be released for everyone else tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. uh, Pacific time. But it's incredibly important for you to watch that mm. if you want to bit more of an insight into what's going on in China right now. It's a good one. With, I watched it. With regards to, you know, the anti-foreign sentiment and the barring of foreigners from entering into supermarkets and karaoke bars and bars and, mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. So I've got some videos and uh, a lot of pictures and some very good insight in that video. So please, if you're a patron, check it out. Otherwise, tomorrow morning, I would appreciate it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Christina Youngren says, some of the Twitterati are saying that the phrase wet market is racist because it means non-westerners are dirty isn't wet market the name given by chinese yes yeah, it's from chinese yes shi chang. it's a shi chang. yes it is a chinese word so, so if someone's claiming racist you're racist because you don't even bother to look yeah because you, you can't even you speak the ass. language <laughs> you dumbass you know that's why a lot of this yeah. stuff goes thanks christina you know like the thing in kenya or whatever with the restaurants the reason why a lot of it kind of goes unnoticed is because of the language yeah, barrier huge. so you can have a massive sign up in chinese that says you know, bu, Burang Waigoren Jinchu or something. And people will just see a bunch of Chinese characters and they're like, oh, what a quaint little restaurant. They don't see the blatant out there. You are not allowed <laughs> oh, in here because you're look a at, Look at these beautiful moon rooms. Yeah, I wonder exactly. what they mean. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, thanks, Christina. Mm -hmm. uh, one more. Agent Anderson says, my parents are both sick. Dad is going to the hospital in New York. Best oh, of to you. I'm so that's sorry. Horrible. That's horrible. Um, oh, and, yeah. and, sorry. Link to Sky News video I would like to share. Can I ask Jesse, uh, our mod, can you... Uh, paste that in there somewhere yeah yeah we'll add it later yeah. into the description um we should move on to our next mm -hmm. thing which is worldview everybody where we talk about everything in the world but specifically related to china